Made this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside, when they pull up, they get me loose Yeah, jump out, boys, that's Nike boys hopping out cool What's going on family? So we're here in Penticton, British Columbia with the bro came all the way back from SAS WBFF 2018 Transformation World Champion. So I'm pretty hyped. We're gonna get a workout in. We're meeting up with Danny Gets Fit. I think some other people might be rolling up. But I want to take you guys through a bodybuilding style back workout today. I am training for powerlifting but 2020 stage. I want to bring the aesthetics so it's really important to do this. And guys, don't be limited to what you do if you're just competing in powerlifting or just doing aesthetic stuff. You guys have to implement other types of training to help supplement your main goal. So let's head into the gym, the gym eternal, and get this workout going. Let's get it. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got my- I understand a lot of people have trouble activating their back and this is one of the reasons why we start with the lat pulling is because you want to activate your back, you want to warm up your lats and also make sure they're turning on for the future exercises so really develop that mind muscle connection. No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I've just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking. Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near. All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong, one shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control. Oh guys, one thing too is cable angle so you want to watch and make sure that that is lining up with the elbow so the line of pull should match your elbow so don't be trying to do a tuck in with the cable coming here or coming from way up here notice how everything's flowing also another tip guys notice my hand position because this moves like this if you have the index finger um, higher than the pinky, it's gonna help pull. You're gonna have more uh, pressure on the pinky part of the hand. It takes the bicep out of it more. It helps take the bicep out. Now every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master, I'm building my craft, and I'm not looking back. I've been going doing things I wanna do when I want to. Everybody wanna get away, but they not do. Everybody. So the first heavy movement of the day is gonna be the lap pull down. We're gonna get the best of both worlds. So we're gonna be hitting this for six to eight reps. I'm gonna go closer to six reps. And for this one, I personally like going for a one to one and a half with shoulder grip. And that's when you get the most lat activation. 1.5 biomacromial legs. Patty's a very advanced lifter. He's been into sports, lifting his whole life. Stuff that I'm showing you is maybe good for someone that's just learning to activate things because trying to mimic someone that's been lifting for a long, long time, sometimes it's tough because he's doing things inherently. So one, one tip, if you watch the hand placement, don't wrap the thumb around the bar, keep it on the outside. That helps minimize bicep activation also. And if you're kind of putting less pressure through these fingers, you're putting more pressure through that part of the hand, it's gonna help keep the bicep out of it. It's not gonna stop it, but it helps. This goes for all back movements. Focus on the movement of your elbow. So when you're working on the lat pull down, focus on pulling it down your side, on your way up, away from the body. So with this current workout program, my RPE is going to be nine, but my last set RPE is going to be 10. So I really want to push it. It's going to be 12. <laughs> I want to make sure I can't get any more reps left in the tank. I feel like leaving a little bit of juice there will help get more volume over time. So I fatigue over the first set, I won't get as much volume for the further sets. And you want to get as much volume as you can over time. Um, not just in a single session or a single set. Cool. For most back workouts, I like to focus on having a vertical pull movement that I'm looking to progress with and a horizontal pull movement that I'm looking to progress with. And that's bodybuilding wise, the basics. Right now, the main one for this day, my bodybuilding day, is gonna be a lot pull down. And then my next one here is gonna be the close grip cable pull. And I like this one because it takes tension off my lower back. I will focus on uh, isolating my back and personal preference as well. I found that I can feel this a lot better than um, something else more hardcore like the one arm dumbbell row or the barbell row. I'm 
You see Dylan here, he leans a little bit forward during the range of motion. So he's getting a little bit more stretch in the lat. And as he comes back, he's moving his shoulder blades together. And it's just a little bit of an advanced technique. But if you're a beginner to this movement, just try and stay stationary. And then as you get going with it, you can add that slight bend forward and back as long as it's controlled and as long as you're not you're using momentum to actually move the weight. If you are at that point where you want to start adding that advanced movement, very simple. Think of the spine. Doing this is not so bad, just like Patty's squat might be a little bit uh, more bent over. What you don't want is the spine doing that. On the launch. Hey, hey, my boy just shot team transformable gear. Launch was what, yesterday? Yeah. And yeah, congrats Rock on some of the swag. Me too. Yeah. Oh, we got some under, of that. Under this. Under that? Yeah. There we go. Yep. Tip for biceps, if you're having trouble like really activating, a lot of people will hold the dumbbell really far down on the hand. Try to get that up here so that the fingers are just holding that in place. If you have that across the palm, and then the same thing, you wanna be focusing on putting the tension through this part of the hand. And when you come up, let the elbow drift slightly in front of the body a little bit. Shoulder extension will contract the bicep to its maximum capability. Just like when you're doing a preacher curl, that's why you feel it a lot more because your elbow's slightly in front. So as you're coming up, get the bicep out in front and reverse the movement and then let it come back down. All right guys, we're, this is gonna be a super high tempo burnout for the very end. It's gonna be a preacher curl variation. I'll get Evo to go over that and then we're gonna head back, get some food, get that protein in, hit that anabolic window, you know, make some gains, all that good stuff. So we're gonna do um, maybe a progression scheme. So I think we'll do two straight sets and then the third set, uh, do like a rest pause technique that I like to incorporate sometimes. So after Patty burns out, however many reps he got on his last set, say he gets 10, we're gonna have him rest for 10 seconds, do a couple more reps, and then however many reps he gets again, let's say he gets five, he'll only rest for five seconds, and then I'll help him get in some force ranges. So it's not the best movement for like compounds, but on some of these isolations, the force reps, rest pause, force negatives, all that stuff can just be a little uh, added bonus intensity technique. Such a good workout with Evo. Always pushes me to the Ooh. max, so appreciate it, bro, as always. And uh, it's cool because Evo came from uh, over 300 pounds to me being like 120. So Mental. our minds mix and mesh. We're both chasing that bodybuilding dream, and it's just a lot of fun. Five, two. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Don't, te don't tease me uh, like that. I mean, beer, beer NASCAR. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, man. See you, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Heading back home, and we're on our way inside Wally World. I always get tempted with McDonald's every time I get in here. But we're going to pick up some post-workout noms. And for tonight, because we have some work to do, I have some client check-ins to complete. And I have some new stuff with coaching coming out. But I don't think you guys really care about that. I have something huge that i want to announce in like a couple months and it's just like so fun to like build businesses in the background and just do all the back end work and then it's so hard to keep your mouth shut and just work behind the scenes but it's so exciting to to do <laughs> uh just i don't know just building something from the ground up and knowing that you've built that you created that and it's something that helps represent you um, so first thing on the list, <laughs> these are in two. Canada, bringing peanuts and pretzels, yep. gold bars, <laughs> literally the best, the best. So when we were at Walmart, I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but some lady came running, to running towards us. Like we stole, stole, like we stole about 40 barbecues. Like I was a criminal. Yeah. And then she asked me to stop and I was like, oh, sorry about that for sure. Because I understand oh, wow. like, and then she started being like continuously rude to me. And then I said, with all due respect, I feel like you're talking to me negatively, especially when you're in, we are in your establishment and you have to deal with customer service. And I'm not going against what you said. She said not to film and I was like, sorry. I was like, oh, okay. 
just treated us like second class citizens, man. Yeah. So Patty, Patty told her a little bit. That bitch lucky it was him. And that's me being angry. He was a little hangry. He had a he needed he like a Hershey Gold now. Yeah. He got that ground beef. We're gonna make Patty lifts muscle burgers. Muscle burgs. Was out there called yeah, Patty lifts muscle burgs. Dean lifts muscle burgs. Baby. <laughs> With okay. anabolic pumpkin pie. Oh, buddy. We don't have whip though. Do we need really that whip? Oh, we got an hour and a half to go to downtown. Okay, we good. good. Me and the girl, well, actually, Sky made us pumpkin pie. I got that eggnog on deck, people. I'm really stoked about that. I don't know. I had to share that. I'm a foodie. Maybe I need to make more food videos. If you guys think I should make another food video, let me know. Calorie challenge, cheat day, let me know. Hey, hey, hey. You want to make a fucking cheat day while I'm here? Oh. I'll fucking show you what a 10,000 calorie meal looks like. <laughs> Yeah, this guy literally, I'm pretty sure he ate 10,000 calories in one sitting, which is not, like, I don't know how he did that. But he used to be like 300 pounds, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm just jealous. All right, guys, we're going to end the night off with some patty lifts, meat burgers, and... Uh, muscle burgers. Muscle burgers. Not Jeez, oh burgers. my God. I give stuff names and he doesn't fucking I'm sorry. Um, it was a really good workout today. You guys can see that we're just trying to vibe. We just dial in, get our workouts in, um, focus on what's important. Just to recap, back day, pre-activation, vertical pull, horizontal pull, bicep movement. You can add some fluff work in there to add some extra volume and focus on what actually matters. and um, Get to and, work. Yeah, it's two guys from two different starting places meeting together and both making it work. Um, trying to hit the same goal. So we're focusing on what matters most, and I just want to emphasize that. Yeah, compliance is a science, man. Just get to work, do some hard shit, and do it for a long ass time. And uh, yeah, subscribe. See you later. Thank you. I'll miss you. See ya.